Hello and welcome to our virtual wellness community and to the Stronger Together tribe. On behalf of our entire team of coaches, I want to say welcome. We're so glad you're here. We're so excited to help you get started. Um, and I just wanted to take a minute to introduce um, our group to you guys and just talk to you a little bit about um, how to be successful, some tips for getting started, and a couple of things that make our group different from you know anything else that you may have done or tried before. So first of all, welcome. I'm Coach Sarah. Um, you may have joined with me or you may have joined our community with one of the other fabulous coaches on our team. Whoever brought you into this group, welcome. We are all so excited you're here. So first things first, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our group. So in this group, we focus on reaching our health, fitness, and wellness goals in a holistic and sustainable way. So that's the approach that we're taking. We're focused on the goal is to be healthy and to be and feel our best. It's not just to be a certain size, a certain body shape, or a certain weight. While we may have goals in those areas, that's not our ultimate goal, okay? We all start at a different place. We all have different goals, but we are here to support each and encourage each other and to help each other become our healthiest and best versions of ourselves. And we're all here to encourage and to celebrate each other's wins along the way. Um, two, there's two things that our group does. I'm doing one with this hand and two with it. That's two. <laughs> there's two things about our approach to health and fitness. Um, that I really want to let you know, but there's probably more things that, that separate us from maybe other things you've done before. But the two things that I really want to highlight in this video is the way that this group works. Um, we use monthly boot camps um, as a method of getting to our larger goals and to creating a sustainable approach to fitness. I think sometimes boot camps can get a bad rap because people will use them. They'll do like a 21 day boot camp and then they immediately stop and they go back to the way that life was before. And then the results that they got in the boot camp, they go away or, you know, they, they all of a sudden they're not feeling as good. They're right back to where they started. So that's not what we do in this group. What we do is every month we're going to take 21 days out of the month, starting on the first Monday of every month. And we are going to focus on making progress towards our goals in 21 day chunks. And I'll talk a little bit more in a minute about specifically what that means for each of us. Um, but we take that 21 day chunk and we, we work hard. We challenge ourselves. We push ourselves to improve in our fitness, to improve in our nutrition and to increase our overall health and wellness, um, to make progress towards our goals. And those 21 day chunks serve as mile markers on the road to our ultimate goal. So the point is not to go all in for 21 days and then stop and completely go back to the way things were before because we are we are working towards long-term goals but at the same time we want it to be sustainable and if you're going all in all or all out in your workouts um really really dialing it in with your nutrition it's really hard to sustain that for long term so one of the ways that we have found is the best way to create balance to allow time for rest while working it in and continuing to move towards your overall goals is to use those 21 days to focus. And then we're going to take at least a week each month to rest and reset, to stretch more. Maybe we do more walking. We're more gentle on our bodies. Maybe we relax our nutrition just a, just a tiny bit, enjoy some treats, um, things like that. And then First Monday of the next month, we're diving back in, okay? And that allows us to enjoy life, um, to rest, which is the most important part when you're, especially when you're learning something new and you're challenging yourself, whether that's in your fitness or in your nutrition, learning a new nutrition program and trying to figure out how to work that into your life. Taking that week to rest physically and mentally and figure out what you want to do differently in your next 21 day chunk to 
make it go even better to make even more progress on your goals. Taking that time is so important. And so we, that's how we balance rest with progress. Um, now when it comes to what you'll actually be doing, uh, one thing I do want to say, there will be some weeks, some months where we have a five week month. And so our three weeks of, of focus, um, and then our one week of rest, we may end up with a fifth week from time to time. And we'll throw in a fun little challenge just to keep us moving. Um, we don't want to take two weeks of too much rest because that would make us lose progress. So there's a fine balance there. Um, and our structure has been created to help you find that balance for yourself. And this method of training, by the way, is called block periodization. And it's a really great um, scientifically proven method for reaching your goals and being sustainable as well. So now when it comes to what you will be doing, if you've gotten started with one of our coaches, you should already have a five-part wellness plan. And that five-part wellness plan is how we get that personalized holistic approach. So our monthly boot camp rhythm is how we one of the biggest ways that we make it sustainable. But we take a holistic approach um, with this five-part wellness plan. So you should have a wellness plan that addresses nutrition with a nutrition plan. Um, fitness with a plan for moving your body and challenging your body to get stronger and healthier. Um, and then you'll probably have some supplement recommendations. Many of us need some supplements and some extra support from that. I know I did and do, um, our bodies are just, you know, a food is not, this is not the food that our grandma grew up with. Right. Um, and I, I don't want to go too much on a tangent because we talk a lot about nutrition in our groups, um, but supplements can be a really effective tool. Um, your coach probably recommended some based on your goals and your needs. And so I recommend um, using those. And then the, the fourth piece is community. Um, and I will say this piece is often underrated and underutilized in my experience. And when I say in my experience, I mean, when I first started, I did not plug into the community and therefore I was not invested. I didn't have anyone holding me accountable to my goals. I didn't feel accountable to anyone. Um, and it was easy for me to just disappear because I wasn't plugging into the community. So I, I will tell, I'll be the first to tell you I didn't think I needed it, but I did. That is the one thing that changed for me when I tried to reach my goals before and didn't succeed and didn't stick with it to when I finally did succeed and did stick with it. I plugged into the community and I allowed them to hold me accountable by investing in them myself. So a lot of times we think accountability is somebody texting us or calling us out and saying, hey, did you do your workout? But the problem is when we're having a bad day, when we're struggling, we often don't want that text or that reach out. And so we will ignore it. I've had many, many, many clients and customers do this to me. We say we want accountability, but then when we get that text or that call, it's so easy to just say I'm too busy. I don't have time. I'll get back to it. And then of course we never do um, because life is crazy, but the best way for you to leverage this community and accountability in it is to plug into it, get to know the other ladies in this community, build relationships with them, encourage them, let them encourage you share when you're win when you have a win a small win we want to share all the wins tiny ones big ones all of them share when you have a win share when you have a struggle when you have a bad day we want to show up in this community um honestly because that's the only way that we can encourage each other to grow so be honest be open be plugged in post comment read other people's posts that is going to create that feeling of accountability from within, that intrinsic feeling of knowing, man, my community, I know they're going to miss me. If I don't show up today, they're going to notice. If you never show up, nobody's able to notice when you don't, when, when you don't do your things, right? So you have to show up and that's going to create that internal accountability that allows the group to hold you accountable 
without always having to call you out, without you having to feel like you're being called out. And so I encourage you so much, plug in, plug in, plug in. I don't care if it's uncomfortable. Um, I don't care if you're shy. I am naturally a shy person. You may not be able to tell by this video, but I'm just talking to my screen. I'm not talking to a person. And you plug in. That's that's the biggest thing. Uh, the fifth element is personal growth. And this also was a huge game changer for me. Um, we have uh, recommendations for books to start with. I highly, highly recommend um, the, the Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Um, this is all in your getting started new client checklist, by the way. So you'll, you don't need to write these down. We have them in the 5 a.m. club, uh, Atomic Habits, some great tools to shift our mindset. Your mind is what controls your actions. And so if you're allowing that negativity and those thoughts in your mind, if you're keeping those same patterns of thought, you're going to continue to get the same patterns of results that you may have gotten before. And so if you haven't had success before, you need to shift some thought patterns. And that's what we're gonna do with personal growth and personal development. And so if your coach recommended some things for you, some resources, dive into those, pick one out, start listening every single day. You can get most books you can get on audible, or you can, maybe it was a podcast they recommended, um, plug in to that. I can't recommend that enough as well. Okay. So this five part wellness plan, all these pieces that your coach recommended for you, they are all going to work together and they're going to compound together. And this is a huge difference maker. It was for me and it is for so many of my clients. These five elements compound together and when they are aligned with your goals um, and with each other, that's when you see massive results that you may not have seen before. That's when you see massive personal growth and, and habit shifts that you may have struggled with before. Um, I know I did, that, that is my experience, and I know so many other people's who, people who have had the same experience. So plug into all five of these areas and your coach's recommendations in them, okay? Now, with that, if you do not have a five-part wellness plan, please reach out to me or to your coach or whoever brought you into this group and let's get you one because we want to know what your goals are. We want to know where you started and we want to create a plan to help you get from where you are now to where you want to be. And that's what we love to do as coaches. So reach out to us if you don't have one. All that said, let's dive into getting prepared and getting you ready to rock your food first boot camp, download our new client checklist, um, and start working through the prep steps. These steps are um, there. You could stretch them out over the whole week, or you could get them done in just a few days. It totally depends on when you want to start. Um, and so plug into that, download that and start working your way through it. If you have any questions ever, comment in our group and tag your coach. The notifications in the group are sometimes really easy to, to get lost um, in all of the things that are going on. So make sure that you tag your coach um, or you can reach out to them individually if you have any questions. Okay, welcome. Get started on that new client checklist and um, we can't wait to get to know you and to encourage you and to celebrate your wins along the way. All right, bye you guys.